If you have similar interests as I do, such as building a business, becoming an entrepreneur, helping or coaching people, I'm sure every day on social media, you're inundated with tons of ads proclaiming to help you launch your six-figure course or million-dollar course launch in only a few short steps. And when I first was planning and creating this video, I was originally going to focus on why I think so many of those people are just deceiving and misleading the potential customers. But instead of just bashing those people, I want to be more productive and I want to help you understand what are the main reasons why people fail uh, to achieve their profit or revenue goals when they're launching a course. Uh, because I myself created my first course last year and because of these five main reasons, my course launch was a bust. So I will touch a little bit on why I think a lot of these scammers, <clears throat> uh, Daniel Leslie or some of these other uh, crazy million dollar course launch people are maybe misleading you a little bit. But um, before we get into that content, let me just first talk about the differences between active and passive income because so many of these people pushing these uh, courses and course creation tell you that it's just something you could set up and just make a million dollars or six figures without doing much work. Well, uh, let me break down those quick definitions real quick to kick off this video. So the main difference between active and passive income are as follows. Active income is any money that is derived directly from your labor. Essentially, this is you exchanging your time and energy for money. And passive income is money derived indirectly from your labor. So this would be you essentially creating an asset that works for you and that asset generates you income. So essentially you'd be working to create something that eventually makes money for you. So an example of active income would be me just working a job, me clocking in five hours to get five hours worth of pay. But an example of passive income would be what we're talking about today, would be, would be me creating this thing called a course, which is an asset that generates revenue for me without me actually having to directly exchange my time and energy, aka my labor, to make money. So I just wanted to clear that out, just give you a simple example between active and passive income and what passive income really is. Because when it comes to creating a course, it's a lot of work. It's actually a lot harder to make money from a course than people think because you're deceived into thinking that you could just create this thing, put it online, uh, maybe drive a couple of ads there, and then you could sit back and you'd have this million dollar course launch. Well, it's a lot more difficult than that. I, I found there's five main reasons as to why people's course launches fail. Um, and I'm gonna get into that shortly, but in the next segment, I'm gonna be talking about why these course launch experts or these course creating experts are doing what they're doing. I can't help but mention this person's name, but the reason why these course launch experts, people like Danielle Leslie, why they focus on this million dollar course launch is because this is essentially the course of all courses. If I'm the person who's who created a course that teaches other people how to create courses. This is literally the ultimate course because like my potential total addressable market is absolutely massive because there's literally hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people who would be drawn into the idea of just creating a course and sitting back and not doing much and somehow making six to seven figures from doing this. So these people were very, very smart in addressing this need that people, A, want to make more money, B, they want to make more money, C, they want to make more money, but they also want to do it without doing a lot of work. Because unfortunately, like in this world, so many people have been misled into believing that they can get the maximum results from minimum effort. And it just doesn't work like that. But when you see these people who are saying, hey, I can help you to make a million dollars just from creating this course in a couple of simple steps, 
it's a very sexy and a very attractive offer but what you quickly come to find out is that the majority of people don't get these results and like i said there's five main reasons why people's course launches really fail and i experienced this myself because i too was drawn into that allure that hey i could just put this thing up and sit back and make a ton of money and as i alluded to before passive income is 10 times more difficult to create than active income and so like i said without focusing too much on these people who i think are misleading uh, potential and new course creators i'm gonna give you five tangible reasons as to why most co course launches fail so the first reason as to why most course launches are a failure is that you don't have a brand and this is huge and i think this is the probably the second if not the most important reason, but I wanted to address this first because like, if you don't have a brand, if you don't have a large, let's say, following of people who know, like, and trust you, if you're not known for something, if people don't look at you as an expert in this go-to area or field, nine times out of 10, like they won't buy your course that you're offering. And so like, this is something that I had to learn the hard way because this is something that these course creators don't talk about. They don't talk about building your influence. And so without you even knowing this, you're trying to launch something like into the ether without being known for this certain creation. And so like, you gotta have a brand that stands out and that resonates with people because if they don't know, like, and trust you, if they don't believe that you're the expert in this area, they're not gonna want to buy whatever you're offering. So problem number two, or the second reason why most uh, course launches seem to fail, like I have a little list here, so I'll be looking at that, is that it's kind of like falls second, if not together with the lack of brand, is that you don't have an audience. And so like, if you're just putting something out into the ether and you're expecting for people to come majestically find you and just buy your product, that doesn't happen. Like marketing, having a, a, a strategic marketing and promotion plan to get your product in the eyes of people who know, like, and trust you or of people who could be interested in your product or in your course is super crucial. You have to know who you're going to be reaching. You have to know who your target buyer person Persona is and then you should have like a following of these people where you should at least know where you can find them and so if you're just putting something out into the black hole of the internet and expecting for people to come buy it you're sadly mistaken so moving on to problem number three as to why these course launches fail is that you don't have an authentic voice and what I mean by this is that literally every day when I log on line to uh, check my social media accounts, I'm literally inundated with countless advertisements that all are the same. Create a six figure business, a seven figure course from scratch, you know, become this expert, charge high ticket sales. And like everybody is selling the same shit. Like there has to be like this one like secret hidden God like course launch person who's selling all these people information because everybody's literally has the same copy. For some reason, I'm seeing the $37 price point, like the same price points keep coming up. It's the same old shit. Like it's the same crap every day. And like this is super inauthentic because me as a business person and even somebody who's not a business person if they have a trained eye they can really understand that like this isn't genuine stuff they're just trying to copy what they've seen work from other people and so you really can't do that like I would highly suggest that you not copy other people you have to do the work to find your purpose and to find whatever your authentic voice is so that's something that's very difficult it's not sexy and that's why most of these kind of million dollar course people don't talk about that so moving on to pro problem number four, this is major as well, and I kind of addressed this earlier with the lack of audience, is that the fourth major problem as to why most course launches fail is that you don't have any marketing or promotion tools. I got to go back to Danielle Leslie, like the one thing that I can give her 
absolute credit for is that she is a beast when it comes to marketing. Like this woman has every type of funnel, every type of, every type of touch point to really sell to you. Like she has the Facebook chats, she has the phone calls, she has the texts, she has the email, she has the ads, the retargeted ads. Like her marketing and sales promotion is top dollar, top level. And because of her expertise and her access to this, these marketing resources, she's able to bring in so many people into her funnel. And at the end of the day, it's a numbers game. If she can be targeting millions of people or hundreds of thousands of people, she's gonna get hundreds, if not thousands of those people to buy her products, which are priced pretty high, four to five figures. So there's a reason why she can get that million dollar course launch is because she has such an aggressive and super targeted marketing program that allows her to sell better than anybody else. And you just starting out, you're not gonna have the access to those resources. I know I didn't, like as I've grown and gone into my business journey, it's like, okay, that tool is a good tool or this system or this funnel, like those are things you're gonna learn and pick up over time. But when you're starting, you're probably not gonna know how to really market to people strategically and systematically. And so that's probably one of the main reasons why you fail is that people don't, they're not aware of what you're doing. So that's a major problem. And then the last problem, which is really important, is probably maybe the first step you should take before you create or launch a course, is that people don't have a validated concept. They haven't validated that there's a genuine market demand for whatever they're teaching. And so before you launch a course, you should really be testing out your materials and your methodologies on clients or just people who you know represent your buyer persona. And so that's something that I did and that I'm actually doing now is that I'm testing out a lot of my methodologies on some of my clients to validate whether or not this would be good course material or not. And the beautiful thing is that I've proven that this stuff is work is gonna work. And so I'm actually in the process of beefing up my first course into a boot camp because I've learned so much on how I could really create value for uh, my my clients and people who want to buy my courses. So just to repeat, problem number one is no brand. Problem number two is no audience. Problem number three is no authentic voice. Problem number four is that you have no marketing or promotion tools. And then number five is that you haven't validated your concept before launching your course. So in sum, don't fall for the hype. Don't fall for the dream. Don't fall for the cap that you can just literally launch a course out of nothing and make six to seven figures. Like there's strategic and scientifically proven reasons as to why people have a successful course launch or why people do not have a successful course launch. And in my opinion, it's, to, it's better to figure out what not to do than figure out what to do. So just remember like there's five really main reasons as to why people fail uh, to achieve their sales or revenue goals when they launch. And so make sure to apply a lot of those lessons learned that, learned that I just gave you in this video and you will be better positioned to have a successful course launch if you can av avoid five of those main reasons why people fail when they want to launch their course. So my question for you today is, why do so many people easily fall prey to the idea of instantaneous success. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts and please be sure to drop your comments below. Furthermore, if you want to become the entrepreneur of your life, you can start this process today by subscribing to this channel. Also, please be sure to click the notification bell to be alerted for whenever new content is dropped. See you next week.